Today, what I've wanted to do is, is bring a new era of transparency to the way Greater Manchester Police deals with the, with the public through my office. Um, uh, we've uh, stolen the, the select committee model, the kind of things that people are used to seeing uh, on, on television from the House of Commons. Uh, but it's the right and proper way in, in this, this era. In the past, um, I, I don't think the public knew what scrutiny took place of the, the police. Or, for that matter, had, were exposed to the police giving account of, first of all, what they do with the resources they use and the limitations on policing. That's the start of a, a conversation between the public and the Chief Constable, and I think we've made a good start. Fraud, of course, is something that, that um, affects many of us. Many people have been victims of, of, of fraud already. Um, sometimes it's the hidden crime. Um, it gets hidden away, and, and, some, and sometimes people do despair that it's not dealt with seriously by uh, agencies like the police, the courts, the Crown Prosecution Service, etc. Um, what we've got to do is to open the lid on what we can do about fraud in, in modern Britain. The, 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 the growing nature of fraud, as time when other crimes are coming down, the, the capacity for, um, for cyber crime, uh, cyber fraud, to be a, a major part of our futures, and to look at how we can prevent that, to look at how we, we deal with, the, with those involved in it in a way that um, protects both um, victims generally and the vulnerable in particular. I think it's been very useful. Uh, it's fair to say we did have some misgivings. We were a bit worried about the process. But actually, as we've got into it, it has certainly provoked us into thinking about the service we provide to victims of fraud and enable us actually to come up with a few ideas um, on how we could do things differently. But I think the key message is, is that really we need to be more transparent really about some of the real dilemmas we face in choosing which crimes to investigate, uh, as well as trying to get more information out to the public about how they can protect themselves against fraud. Well, I think it's really important, I think, for policing to be effective. The public need to have confidence, and confidence comes from our accountability and our transparency. So I think we've got to constantly look for new ways of how to do that. I think it's really important that um, the debate is held in, you know, in a constructive, considered way, that it's not about people blaming one another or people going for sound bites. And I think that's why the, 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 this process worked today, that it wasn't people making clever, clever comments. Um, it was about trying to really understand some difficult issues. So I think you know, if these sorts of scrutiny meetings are held you know, with that philosophy in mind, I think they can be really useful in helping the public to understand some of the realities of the public services and how we operate uh, can generate you know, uh, you know, new ideas and at the same time makes us feel as public sector professionals that some of the politicians and the people who have oversight of us really do understand the reality of what we are trying to deal with and how we are genuinely trying to protect and serve the public but you know we do face some really difficult decisions as we move forward. I intend to use this format in the, in the future um, I think uh, both members of the public uh, generally, actually serving police officers and police staff will be interested in this as well. It'll give them an indication both of, if you like, my own thinking and importantly, the thinking of uh, Sir Peter as Chief Constable. Um, so um, whilst obviously the, the, the first uh, thing we looked at has been fraud, in the future we'll look at a range of things, uh, domestic violence, um, the use of stop and search, the, uh, the way we deal with antisocial behaviour, cybercrime. Um, many, many things we, we can look at using this format, uh, asking uh, Greater Manchester Police to give account, sometimes maybe actually asking other agencies to come along uh, if we're looking at the impact of uh, mental illness on, um, on, on the criminal justice system. It may well be I'll ask some of the, uh, the, the, the health service providers to come along and take part in, in a similar kind of operation, that's right and proper, because it's about um, asking all those who are the past the public services that make our communities safer and give proper account for what they're doing to see how we can improve things, to see sometimes how we um, get rid of the rough edges. So uh, th this format I think has got a, a strong future.